Today on MTG Unpacked, we're going to get stuck into another Guilds of Ravnica bundle. So this one is for a patron. Patron today is Mark McGrain. Thank you very much for being a patron of the channel. And he requested Jace to do the pack blessing duties. So if you're not familiar, that is how we get extra value on this channel. And now and then it actually works. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this. And hope we can pull something cool for Mark. Alright, so we get the nice deck box. And he actually will get shipped this whole thing. So even the spin down dice. We get a nice Rakdos colours there. And of course, oh, the um, not to forget the land pack here with the foil lands, that's pretty cool. I hope they do that with Ravnica Allegiance. And who is looking forward to Ravnica Allegiance coming up fast next week? Can't wait. Looking for the, forward to the pre-release. And let's go here with Jace. He is racing across the packs. There we go. So we have 10 packs of goodness here. Alright. Let's get into pack number one here, and these are actually, you can open them quite easily, unlike those uh, Ultimate Masters ones or Battle Bond, that's sort of annoying. Alright, we start off with Rubble Belt Boar, Skyline Scout, Moodmark Painter, Hitchclaw Recluse, Hammer Dropper, Demir Locket, Luminous Bonds, keep feeling like I've got two cards there, Candlelight Vigil, Piston Fist Cyclops, Pitiless Scorgon, and for the Uncommons we have Glaive of the Guild Pact. Goblin Banneret! There we go, we have the Goblins again. 1-1 one, one for a single mountain with Mentor, pay 1 in a mountain and it gets plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn. Fantastic, whoops. Got a bit of a peek there, Thought Erasure, and yes! Oh wow, what a surprise! So we have a Temple Garden, this is a great pool here, one of these Shocklands. Forest Plains, so obviously add Forest or Plains to a mana pool. As it enters Battlefield you may pay two life, if you don't it enters Battlefield tapped. Alright, off to a great start, a nice Cessna Gate and an Insect Token. On to pack number two. And does anyone have any deck ideas brewing for Ravnica Allegiance? What sort of colour combo are you using? Are you going with one of the guilds, like a Rakdos deck for instance? Leave a note in the comments. Next we have Hunted Witness, Unexplained Disappearance, Bartizan Bats, Portcullis Vine, Whisper Agent, and these packs keep getting in the way, Capture Sphere, Maniacal Rage, Erstwhile Trooper, Hired Poisoner, Blade Instructor, and for the Uncommons we have Price of Fame, Lotleth Giant, that is pretty cool artwork there, Giant Zombie, Golgari Fine Broker, and the rare is Narcomoeba, so this is a Creature Illusion 1-1 one, one for 2 mana with flying, and when it's put into your graveyard from a library, you may put it onto the battlefield. Alright, so he just keeps coming back. Boris Gilgate and a soldier token. Okay, so if somebody was trying to mill you out there, I think is the situation, or if you had to discard it from the library. Seems pretty cool. Next we have a barging sergeant. 10th District Guard, Child of Night, Urban Utopia, Sonic Assault, Rhizome Lurcher, Fresh Faced Recruit, Mephitic Vapors, good to kill all of those rats in the rat colony, Laid Instructor, Command the Storm, and for the Uncommons we have Chemist's Insight, Beam Splitter Mage, we Dragonauts, and the rare is Tajik Legion's Edge. Legend Creature Human Soldier, 3-2 for 3 mana, so one of these Boros guys. Haste and Mentor, prevent all non-combat damage that will be dealt to other creatures you control. And for a Mountain and Plains, gains first strike until end of turn. And another Selesna Goodgate, 
and an Elf Knight token. Okay, so we need a bit more than that, Jace. Got to keep Mark happy, get him the crazy pulls. Next we have Wall of Mist, Wojak Bodyguard, Demir Informant, Wary Okapi, and speaking of crazy pulls, if you have not checked out the craziest pull in MTG Unpacked history, I will leave a little card up in the corner there for that. Absolutely ridiculous. We pulled that last week for one of the patrons and they were over the moon about that. Veiled Shade, Garrison Sergeant, Muse Drake, Gateway Plaza, Dead Weight. And who here has done something with the Crackling Drake? Is he useful or is he useless? Leave a note in the comments. Might of the Masses, Selective Snare. And rare is nice! Assassin's Trophy. So this is an instant for two Golgari colors. Destroy target permanent and opponent controls its controller base. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle their library. And of course, the fantastic artwork there on this one. And you get a foil Cosmotronic Wave, Sorcery for four. Cosmotronic Wave deals one damage to each creature your opponent's control creatures. Your opponent's control can't block this turn. Also a good Rat Colony countermeasure, I would say. Boros Guildgate and a Soldier Token. Okay, so we're really getting a lot of things to take care of the rats or the little tokens that pop up from time to time. Okay, we have Fearless Halberdier, Sworn Companions, Maximize Altitude, Torch Career Goblin! There he is! Child of Night. I don't think I've seen him in too many goblin decks, so he's a pretty low-end creature. Urban Utopia, Direct Current, Gateway Plaza, Goblin Electromancer! There we go, that's another one. We're doing really well with the goblins today, Siege Worm, and for the uncommons we have Conclave Tribunal, Cruel Harpooner, Pilfering Imp and rare is a Blood Operative Creature Vampire Assassin 3 1 for 3 mana with lifelink. When Blood Operative enters the battlefield, you may exile target card from a graveyard, and whenever you surveil, if Blood Operative is in your graveyard, you may pay 3 life. If you do, return Blood Operative to your hand. Seems like a good deal, and a Demir Gilgate and a Bird Illusion token. Alright, so we are down to the last five packs, halfway through here. And there's bound to be some mythics here, surely. We have a radical idea. An ornery goblin! Luxodon Restorer, Demir Informant. Burglar Rat! Yes, there's a Burglar Rat. Unfortunately, a 1-1, one -one, so we could take care of him with the Cosmotronic Wave. Wary Okapi, Iron Shell Beetle, Muse Drake, Gateway Plaza, and for our uncommons here we have Justice Strike, Rock Charger, Status and Statue, and the rare is Gruesome Menagerie, Sorcery for five, with the grasping hands popping out there. Choose a creature card with converted mana cost in your graveyard, then do the same for creature cards with converted mana cost 2 and 3. Return those cards to the battlefield. Nice. And... Oh, a foil rare. Cool. Connive and Concoct. So Connive is a sorcery for 4. Gain control of target creature with power 2 or less and Concoct. Sorcery for 5, Surveil 3, then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Look at that shininess. And an Is It Guildgate and an Elf Knight token. Alright, so some more foil rares would be nice. Don't want to be greedy, but Jace. Oh, I actually am being greedy because Jace got us some Assassin's Trophy, so. But still, we want more, we want some mythics, so let's continue with Wall of Mist, Wojak Bodyguard, Take Heart, 
Child of Night, Urban Utopia, Maniacal Rage, Hired Poisoner, Venati Shieldmate, Hypothesizzle. Wonder if they have any weirdly named cards like that in Revnica Allegiance. I have not caught up with all the spoilers yet, but maybe there's one or two. Prey Upon. And for the uncommons, they have Smelt Ward Minotaur. Flower and Flourish. Silent Dart. And the rare is a Pelt Collector. Nice. I think this guy was going up in price. Not sure if it's gone down again, but Creature Elphoria 1-1 one, one for a single forest. Whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, if that creature's power is greater than Pelt Collector's, put a plus one plus one counter on Pelt Collector. And as long as Pelt Collector has three or more plus one plus one counters on it, it has Trample. Very nice. I think there's a couple of synergies in Ravnica Allegiance with the uh, plus one plus one counters, so that could be useful. The Mere Guildgate and an Elf Knight token. Down to the last three packs. Where are all the mythics? I know we don't always get a mythic from a bundle, but we would like to see one. Barging Sergeant, Tenth District Guard, Leapfrog, Burglar Rat. There he is again. Two rats. Packs favor. Devious Cover Up. Rhizome Lurcher. Sky Knight, Legionnaire, Dark Blade, Agent, Centaur, Peacemaker. And for the uncommons we have Gatekeeper, Gargoyle. Lava Coil, there's a good one for the burn decks. Discovery and Dispersal. And rare is Deafening Clarion. It's a sorcery for three in the Boros Colors. Choose one or both. It deals three damage to each creature. Or creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn. Very nice. And a Selesna Gugate and a Soldier Token. Alrighty, which uh, session are people planning to attend the pre-release? I'll be going there Friday after midnight to pick up my box. Well, actually my three boxes, and then on Saturday at 3 p.m. I'll be doing the pre-release. So it's going to be a weekend of magic. And of course, lots of videos on the channel here. Planeswalker decks and box openings, all that good stuff. So stay tuned. Next we have Vidarkin Mesmerist. Ornery Goblin. Skyline Scout. Crawl Foragers. Moodmark Painter, Dark Blade Agent, Centaur Peacemaker, Whisper Agent, Capture Sphere, Erstwhile Trooper, and for the uncommons we have a Whispering Snitch, Glow Spore Shaman, Sprouting Renewal, and the rare is a Midnight Reaper, Creature Zombie Knight 3 2 for 3 mana. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, Midnight Reaper deals one damage to you, and you draw a card. And the Golgari Gilgate, and an Inset token. Okay, last pack here. Let's go out with a bang, Jace, please, sir. You do want to be picked for Pack Blesser, do you not? Finally, we have Dazzling Lights, Fire Urchin... Intrusive Pack Beast, Maximize Altitude, Wild Ceratoc, Notion Rain, Gravitic Punch, Watcher in the Mist, Pause for Reflection, and for the Uncommons we have a Mold Hulk, Fungus Zombie, and these cards are really not wanting to pop out, City Watch Sphinx, Hellkite Whelp, and the rare is a mythic! Yes, we did it! Lazav the Multifarious Legendary Creature Shapeshifter 1 3 for 2 mana in the Demir Colors. When Lazav the Multifarious enters battlefield, surveil 1. So look at the top card of your library and put it into your graveyard. Pay X and he becomes a copy of target creature card in your graveyard with command mana cost X. Except its name is Lazav the Multifarious. It's legendary in addition to its other types and it has this ability. Alright, so nice to get a Mythic there, and a Foil, Golgari Raiders, Creature Elphoria 0 for 4, with Haste and Undergrowth, enters Battlefield with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it, 
for each creature card in your graveyard. So be sure to stuff that graveyard full of nice creatures there. And a Boros Skillgate and a Soldier Token. So that is it. Thank you again Mark McGrain for being a patron and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And if you too would like to get in on all the pack cracking action here on MTG Unpacked, I'll leave a link to the Patreon in the description for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.